how we treat women and girls is absolutely essential to who we are as a people. The issue of gender equality globally must be addressed if the problems that we share across the world are to be solved. It's the way that we can bring greater peace and balance in this world. We're at the point of freedom, and that means two things. One is it's maximum danger, and the other is we're not going to stop. What Nick and Cheryl have been able to do is tell very compelling stories of people that they empathize with and understand in their context. Well, I, I got an email. I remember like the subject being like Sierra Leone, and I opened that one because I was like, oh, that's interesting, what's that all about? And then it was the invitation to come on board, and I immediately said, I love what Nick and Cheryl say in the book that women are not the problem, they're the solution. When I, I started reading what Half the Sky is about and what the message is and the story. You are so beautiful and so smart. I know you will be very successful. You can't say no. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't ask, but can I ask, did your husband ever hit you? No. Did, so it goes down very nice. <laughs> Nick and Cheryl kind of revolutionized the way people talk about aid and made people very fired up and inspired and certainly made me want to get out there and be a part of the movement. So you were a commercial sex worker from when to when? From 94 to 98. I'm just curious how much you were paid for that work. 50 shillings. It's a tough topic. The challenge that women and girls face around the world is not an easy topic to talk about, but we really think it is the moral challenge of this century. Nick and Cheryl are out there talking about this issue, and not just talking about it kind of theoretically, but they have all these stories about actual girls and women that are going through some of these struggles. That really brings it to life for a much wider audience. Is that red door, is that a brothel, I think? Yes, it is. Do you have a supply of condoms here? No, I'm not kidding, yes. No, they don't have it. They have to buy it. And you have to buy condoms? As long as the victims are poor, rural, female, illiterate, they don't have voice. Don't want to forget that. <laughs> to be physically present in a place is irreplaceable. Nicholas is right. You have to show up. Yeah. She's fine. <laughs> she is fine. Okay. This is like a war map, a strategic map. Where do we need someone to fight the enemy? She doesn't have a radial pulse. Disease, death. Celebrities can bring these issues into the limelight. That's just a no-brainer. That's your job, you know, to shine a little light on people that are actually doing the hard lifting. Mate, that one I told you, it's been so. But from a brothel or from? From a brothel. You can't come up with something more beautiful than a young innocent girl. And to inflict that experience on that human being is unspeakably cruel. So she had to have like 10, 12 plan a day. If she don't want it, they beat her. I want to empower the survivor to stand up and say no. If they want to say no. Three-year-old. It's a three-year-old girl who has been raped and she's just come back for follow-up. Yeah. We shouldn't allow the violence that has been inflicted on women to continue, it must stop, because it can't stop, and they need to be part of the solution. You stay safe, okay? Sometimes the problem feels so big that changing one life doesn't feel like enough, but it is. So every person, every corner of this world needs to raise a voice and say this has to stop. This is not rocket science. This is not a problem that is unsolvable, that we have to invent something new. It just takes political will. The rights we want, we want to choose our husbands. We want to own the land. We want to go to school. We don't want to be cut anymore. We want also to make decisions. We want to participate in politics, to be leaders. We want to be 
l'école. The hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. If we are going to see real development in the world, then our best investment is women. <laughs>